My name is Cormac McCarthy. I'm a pulmonary clinician working in St Vincent's University Hospital in Dublin, Ireland and University College Dublin. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity to present briefly on our clinical picture in The Lancet regarding a case of autoimmune pulmonary alveolar proteinosis. And this case is really to highlight a number of things, including the discrepancy between symptoms and clinical signs and the CT findings that may occur in these cases, and also the diagnostic ability for a simple blood test that can diagnose most cases of pulmonary alveolar proteinosis. This is a case of a 50-year-old gentleman who presented with a two-year history of dry cough and mild exertional dyspnea. He had had a number of investigations including a CT scan which showed a classic crazy paving appearance with diffuse ground glass opacities and interlobular septal thickening. He ultimately went on to have a bronchoscopy and a biopsy which showed uh, uh, surfactant protein by immunohistochemistry and PAS positive material in its alveoli demonstrating pulmonary alveolar proteinosis which is a syndrome of a number of different diseases that result in alveolar filling with surfactant, lipid, lipoproteinaceous material and macrophages. 90% of these cases are caused by autoimmune pulmonary alveolar proteinosis and this can be diagnosed by checking for anti-GMCSF antibodies or granulocyte macrophage commonly stimulating factor. Checking for these antibodies is a, almost 100% sensitive and specific and can avoid biopsy in the vast majority of cases. And what's interesting about this case is often the disparity between the very severe appearing CT and often the patient who may be uh, milder. They often get treated for pneumonia and infection for several times before a diagnosis is made. And it's important to make a diagnosis both to understand the etiology but then to be able to provide appropriate therapy. And 90% of cases are autoimmune and there are emerging therapies that are currently being trialled including inhaled GMCSF and other novel therapies. Um, this is a syndrome to be aware of and to be aware that it can be diagnosed by clinical reasoning, imaging and a blood test.